Toastmaster and a fellow of Toastmasters. My name is Tim Ello, for those that haven't met me before, and my role here at Disney Online is that I lead the tech teams for our franchise, our Synergy sites, and for Disney Junior. And I'm also a certified Scrum Master. Today, I want to talk to you all about the Scrum development methodology, why we used it for some of our projects, including Disney Junior, which I'll use as a little test case, talk about the different roles and activities that go along with that process, and see how Scrum may work for some of the projects that you might be working on, if that's the kind of work that you're in. So first of all, what was Disney Junior? It's Disney Junior is the online component to Disney Channel's preschool television network. And why Scrum? Well, we had a very fixed deadline and to launch a site on Valentine's Day, February 14th. And I knew that Scrum could ensure that we were at home with our loved ones instead of here at the office trying to fix broken code or explain to our bosses why we didn't have a site at all. So what is Scrum? Scrum is an interactive, it's an iterative process focused on quickly delivering working software, adopting to changing business needs, and continually improving the process. And there's three roles that we have to that. There is a business owner, a product owner, that's the person that represents the stakeholders. There's the team, the team is a cross-functional group of testers, designers, developers, the people who are going to make the site, really. And the Scrum Master, that's the person that maintains the process. And for Disney Junior, that was, that was my role. So we'll get into the activities. What does it really mean to, to be working in Scrum? So the first thing you've got is product backlog. Now the product backlog is a list of all the prioritized things that the product owner wants to build. So they want a homepage, they want video player here, they want all the stuff. So it's all the things that you, you want to build. And that can be updated at any time, anytime a new priority comes up, changing requirements. That's where it's just the, the big backlog, all, all the stuff in the list gets, gets handled. The next part of the process is a sprint backlog. Now we talked about this being an iterative process. So oftentimes projects that we traditionally do is, here's the entire project from start all the way to finish. But in an iterative process, you're taking on smaller chunks and developing that and then moving on to the next piece. So what we do is we take this prioritized list that the product owners come up with. The team gets together and says, you know, we think we can do about this many things in, in this iteration. So this, this two to four week time frame. So out of the top priority list, the team gauges how much effort is involved in each one of these tasks or stories as they may be called. And they move them over into this list. So now you've got those three or four things or 18 things, however many it is. So the, the team decides that. So it's a little bit different than other processes where someone just says, this is what you're going to do, Vocal. Yeah. You're not really bought in and someone's telling you what to do. Right. So as the team, you get to choose out of the top priorities, what well, should be the first priority is the one that gets done, and the one after that, and that. So the team buys in and says, this is how much we can accomplish, and this is what we expect to deliver to you as the product owner at the end of this sprint that we'll get into. Great thing about this is that it's a protected place. It's a safe place. Oftentimes, all of us will work on a project, whether it's software development or something else, you're focused on what you're doing and then your boss or somebody comes up to you and says, oh, you know, we really need to do this, and say, can you focus on this? It's, it's really more important. And the next day, oh, you know, we changed, and we really need you to do this. You're not able to get anything done. This way, these features are all locked. This is what you're working on. It's a safe place for the team to focus on delivering quickly. Now that we've got our sprint backlog, we move over to the sprint itself. So this is a two to four week window. where the team is focusing on delivering what they've committed to in the sprint backlog. Typically two to four weeks, and that short amount of time allows the team 
to focus on delivery, focus on what it is they want to build, and also quickly adjust in the next cycle. So again, when you're not doing a project, project that starts here and hoping that you got everything done here, you're just taking off a chunk. You're going to complete it. It's done. It works. You can move on to the next thing. The inside of that two to four week cycle, you've got a daily check-in, your stand-up. Now this time is where the team gets together, in the same place, same time every day, and it's time boxed, and you can time box to 15 minutes, and you discuss, each person discusses three things, or states three things. What did I do yesterday? What am I doing today? And do I have any roadblocks? So it's not a time for discussion on, hey, you know what, maybe I can do this thing and you can help me on that. That, that stuff for after the meeting, but this is just to get those three things answered. Any roadblocks that come up, it's probably the Scrum Master's job to work on that to help reduce those. After that, do a demo. And that's where you just show all the things that you worked on to the, all the stakeholders. And one piece after that is a retrospective. This I find very valuable. It's a time for the team to get together, no bosses, just the team to get together and say, what went really well and what can we improve on in the next cycle? So that you've got every two weeks you're getting better and better, so you're building up your velocity and making a better product over time. So we discussed the roles and activities of Scrum, talked a little bit about Disney Junior, and using this process on Valentine's Day, we're able to be at home with our loved ones rather than having to be in at work. So thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it, everybody.